Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts, your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Lecture 11, The Paradoxical Reign of Solomon, A Study in Contradictions. In Lecture 11, we delve into the contradictory nature of Solomon, the third king of Israel, who is renowned for his wisdom and wealth. The writer of One Kings presents a narrative that highlights the juxtaposition of different aspects of Solomon's reign, prompting us to contemplate with this why this story continues to captivate our imaginations. How can a single account encompass both wisdom and ruthless ambition, grandeur and oppression, and religious devotion intertwined with unfaithfulness? Ultimately, we witness Solomon's son making a crucial decision regarding which aspects of his father's legacy he will embrace and carry forward. The conflict between ambition and wisdom. The early chapter of 1 Kings contrasts Solomon's wisdom with his ambitious nature with ambition taking precedence in the narrative. The story begins with King David's advanced age and declining health leading to a power vacuum that his court members seek to exploit in their bid for the throne. David's, David's eldest living son, Adonijah, and Solomon, the son of David and Bathsheba, assemble coalitions of influential supporters and plan rival coronation ceremonies. Ultimately, Solomon emerges as the victor, making a promise that Adonijah would be spared if he remained loyal. However, suspicions arise, leading to the Adonijah's execution as well as the assassination of a military commander and the arrest of a supporting priest. The chapter concludes with the establishment of Solomon's reign achieved through palace intrigue, multiple in assassinations and arrests. At this point, we are presented with two contrasting depictions of Solomon. His acquisition of political power through ruthless ambition and the subsequent retention of power through violence follows a pattern seen throughout history. However, in chapter 3, a different portrayal of Solomon emerges. Here, he is de depicted as a contemplative ruler who humbly seeks wisdom from God to govern his people justly. Solomon has a dream in which God offers to grant him anything he desires, expressing gratitude for God's unwavering love shown to his father David. Solomon acknowledges the challenges of governing and requests an understanding mind to distinguish between good and evil for the purpose of effective governance. God is pleased with Solomon's request and promises not only wisdom but also long life and great wealth as part of his legacy. This chapter remains Solomon as the wise king who would usher in a cultural renaissance in Israel and establish a monarchy of unparalleled prosperity. 
the renowned story of Solomon's wisdom is exemplified by his judgment in the disp dispute between two women claiming to be the mother of a child. Solomon suggests the cutting cutting the child in half with a true mother immediately protesting, revealing his identity. This story highlights Solomon's keen insight into human nature and his commitment to justice. At this stage, we presented with two distinct perspectives on Solomon. In certain instances, we witness his ruthless side, stopping at nothing to secure his kinship. In contrast, we also see the wise Solomon, who at most, whose utmost desire is to govern his people justly. The writer prompts us to consider both aspects and raises imp implicit questions about the nature of leadership. What are the consequences of acquiring power through ruthlessness? How does wisdom shape the course of action? The contrast between splendor and oppression. The writer of One Kings introduces yet another facet of the story by contrasting the magnificence of Solomon's kingdom with his oppressive treatment of the people. Solomon's remarkable achievements, such as the expansion of his fa military cap capabilities, international trade, and the construction of grand buildings are recounted. He devotes years to building a splendid palace for himself and a temple for God in Jerusalem. However, the writer repeatedly emphasizes that Solomon's accomplishments were made possible through oppression. Chapter 5 describes how Solomon ordered expensive building materials, financed through heavy taxation and forced labor imposed on the people. Throughout the narrative, splendor and oppression are intertwined with its impressive project carrying the burden of forced labor. The writer challenges readers to consider the consequences of such endeavors. Are the remarkable outcomes worth the suffering endured by the people? Thus, the use of harsh methods ultimately undermine Solomon's pursuit of greatness, devotion versus infidelity. The third aspect of Solomon's story revolves around his religious dimension characterized by both devotion and infidelity. Solomon's reign involves a strong commitment to God evident in his most significant undertakings of constructing the temple in Jerusalem, which becomes the central religious institution for Israel over the centuries. The writer of One Kings provides a detailed account of the temple's construction, including its various components and the the elaborate festival during which Solomon dedicates it. Sacrificial offerings are made, and a cloud symbolizing divine glory fills the temple. Solomon offers a prayer, affirming that the temple is where God's unique presence resides. The prayer emphasizes that God's identity is revealed through his actions, particularly his deliverance of Israel from slavery and his covenant with them marked by steadfast love. Solomon's prayer portrays the temple as a visible representation of God's willingness to listen to people in need. It acknowledges the suffering of those who are victims of wrongdoing, 
hunger, and illness, regardless of whether they are from Israel or other nations. Solomon prays that as people turn to the temple, God in heaven will hear their pleas and show them grace. The temple becomes a focal point of prayer for Israel and people everywhere. However, a contradiction arises concerning Solomon's personal devotion to God. Through political marriages with neighboring countries, Solomon accumulates a vast number of wives and concubines. In an attempt to satisfy their religious practices, Solomon builds sanctuaries for the gods they worship. This juxtaposition between Solomon's public devotion and his readiness to accommodate the worship of other gods raises questions about the authenticity of his religious commitment. A Legacy of Contradictions As Solomon's life nears its end, he leaves behind a legacy characterized by contradictions prompting us to consider how the next generation will grapple with these inherited paradoxes. In chapter 12, Solomon's son, Rehoboam, faces a critical decision as he assumes leadership. The people beseech him to ease the burden of forced labor and heavy taxation. The older members of the court advocate for wise leadership that serves the people graciously and fairly, aligning with the wisdom Solomon had once prayed for. However, the younger court members advocate for forcefulness, viewing Solomon's greatness as a result of subjugating the people rather than serving them. Tragically, Rehoboam chooses to perpetuate the brutal side of his father's legacy, leading to the division of the kingdom. The northern region breaks away, established their own kingdom and sanctuaries, while the southern region remains loyal to Rehoboam and continues to worship in a temple in Jerusalem, identifying as Judah. In summary, Lecture 11 explores the contradictions within Solomon's story, encompassing his conflicting qualities of ambition and wisdom, splendor and oppression, and devotion and infidelity. The writer of One Kings compels us to examine the multifaceted nature of leadership and contemplate the consequences of pursuing power ruthlessly or embracing wisdom. Additionally, the narrative raises questions about the price of achieving greatness, the impact of oppressive methods, and the authenticity of religious dev devotion. Solomon's legacy, with all its contradictions, shapes the future trajectory of the nation and compels subsequent generations to grapple with these complex inheritances. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for joining us today as we unravel the complex tapestry of Solomon's reign, a narrative rich with wisdom and contradiction. From the height of grandeur to the depth of oppression, Solomon's story challenges us to reflect on the enduring themes of power and leadership. But our journey through the wisdom and wonders of the biblical times doesn't end here. Join us for our next episode where we dive into the world of Psalms, the sacred songs that voice every emotion from despair to divine joy. We'll explore the lyrical echoes of praise, the earnest cries for help, the heartfelt whispers of gratitude, and the universal chorus of nature itself in episode 12, 
Psalms, an anthology of musical expressions in the Bible. So make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned. Whether you are seeking comfort, inspiration, or simply the pleasure of beautiful poetry, the psalm offer a sanctuary of every soul. Until then, may your own reflections be as deep and meaningful as the age of old psalms we're about to explore. See you in the next episode.